Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel today we will discuss how we can compare IGBT data sheet with the other one to select equivalent how we can compare the data sheet and which parameters we must take care for selecting a replacement basically it is a question from one of my viewer he writes salam brother can you replace parts with igbt for example 25 h1203 with 30 and 120 igbt without diode 60 ampere 1200 volt 70 nanosecond 2.4 volt saturation please advise let's check it the first parameter we have to see the structure configuration either it is using a recovery diode or no so we have to select this one because in this number there is a 120 and 120 d1 so we have to select 120 then it is 25 and 120 h3 it's saturation voltage vce saturation that is 2.05 and if we select this one it is 2.4 volt it has slightly high but the current that is also high we, we will compare these items here the voltage same 1200 1200 volt IC 25 collector current at 25 degree it is 50 ampere and here that is 30 and 120 here IC 25 at 25 degree centigrade it is 60 ampere so it will compensate the saturation voltage that's good at 100 degree it is 25 ampere and here at 90 degree it is 38 ampere so we can say at 100 degree the current will approximately 30 ampere here that's good we can use it gate to emitter voltage forward plus minus 20 volt and vgs forward vges or vgs forward voltage continuous 20 volt so it's the same drive voltage are same power dissipation here that is 326 watt and here is 300 watt 326 watt power dissipation at 25 25 degree so it's okay then the junction temperature here minus 40 to 175 and here is plus 150 degree centigrade so we can say it is marginal it is acceptable then here is breakdown voltage collector to emitter breakdown voltage here it is 1200 volt the same breakdown voltage are here gate to emitter threshold voltage 6.5 volt maximum vge th threshold so here is threshold 6.5 volt 4.5 to 6.5 and here is 5 to 6.5 so it is more sensitive it is good icfs forward current it is 2500 micro ampere that is 2.5 milli ampere so it is the same 2.5 then vce saturation 2.4 to 2.9 volt vce set so vce saturation here it is 2.4 so we can say it is acceptable because here we have more current these two parameters are same then input capacitance it is 1430 picofarad and here is 1650 picofarad it is not uh, too much difference at the same frequency 1 megahertz 1 megahertz 25 volt voltage collector to emitter 25 volt input capacitance CISS 1500 output capacitance 
here is 95 here is 250 output capacitance does not matter the input capacitance that is critical but it is closest so we can say it can work in this place reverse transfer capacitance CRSS it is here it is 75 and here is 110 so we can say it will the same gate charge VCC 960 volts IC 25 ampere gate to emitter voltage 15 volts VGE 15 volt 30 ampere so here is 120 nano coulomb and here is 115 so it is the same because here it is using 25 ampere it is, here it is using 30 ampere so it is the same then rise time 70 41 75 so it is closest CISS that is the most important feature here and here mounting style TO247-3 TO247 AD mounting style is the same pin out is the same we can use 30 and 120 in the place of 25 and 120 so it will work there will no need to change any components I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh